kill me. No, 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 kill me. Come on, kill me, kill me. Not Peter. That's it. Come on. Do your thing. Okay, well, <laughs> that didn't go according to plan, did it? Ah, huh. okay, time for a little nap. Hey there, World Wide Webbing peeps, and welcome to my Let's Play Ark series. Today I am on the Volcano Map on the Pandemonium's World Server. How are you all doing today? I'm doing great, as usual. How, what are we going to be up to today? Hmm, oh, well, we're just going to wait for the lag to stop. Okay, um, the other day we um, spotted these two guys down the beach. Uh, this one was a 1-6, one 106, something like that anyway. I uh, figured that they couldn't hurt to have around. I just need some females now so I can get some eggs on the go. Uh, right, come here, Jerry Boa. Let's take you along with us. What are we up to today? Well, today I have actually loaded a few new mods. Um, I've loaded the Omnicula, uh, which I believe is a new type of spyglass, and the Super Spyglass, so I want to compare the two. I've also added the Death Recovery mod and the Platforms Plus. I'm not sure if I'll have time to cover all four of those, but for now, um, let's go ahead and learn whatever engrams it is that we need. So the Omnicula, there it is, Omnicula. This instrument is quite effective at long-range reconnaissance. Use mouse wheel to adjust the zoom. Can also activate doors and elevators. Cool. And what about the super spyglass? Combines the range of a spyglass with the utility of a magnifying glass. Variable zoom, increased range if you see it. You can see its stats and detailed stats. Okay, so both do the same but slightly different. What else was it? Um, it was a grave. Of, oh yeah, the grave. A personal grave. Let's go ahead and that. To help with death's recovery, you can reclaim the inventory of your corpse or item cache. Personal grave to help you with death's recovery, you can reclaim the inventory of... It. Okay, that just said it twice, didn't it? So I just said it twice. Okay, so how do we make those? Let's start off with the grave. 70 stone, 8 cementing paste. Okay. Let's take half of that. And a bit of that. Okay, so is this thing... Where am I going to put it? How big is it? Okay, so it looks like it's the same size as a normal gravestone that's already in Ark. Uh, I should put it outside, really, shouldn't I? I don't want it to put it too far away. Um, okay, let's just have it here. Can we leave it? Uh, is it? Um, about there. Hmm. Can we pick it up? We can pick it up. It's got to be just right, you know. About there. Better. Okay. So what do we do with it? Recover corpses. Have I got any? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing we have to die first. Hold for more options. Go to turn on... Hmm. Okay. Not sure. We'll have to die, obviously, to test that one out. What else was there? Omnicula. Om... Um, Nick. Okay, what do we need for that? Wood, hide, fiber, and crystal. Omni. Wood, fiber. Can we get in there. Wood. Take a couple of that. Fiber. Wood, fiber. Oh, where's I've forgotten already? Where's it going to be? Mod. What's in there? Tools. Aha. Hide ten. And crystal 12. And what do we need for... What was the other one? Super spyglass. Is that it there? Spyglass. Super spy. Right. Five. 
Five crystal. Do we have any... Oh, it's in the other one. Five hide. And two metal ingot. Have one of those. So let's swap it out for that one and stick that one in that one. And just to compare, whack that one in that one. Okay, let's go and have a look, see. See if we can find something to look at. Okay, so first of all, the omnicular. Oh, uh, right trigger? No. Left trigger? Aha! Parasaur, level 36, health 400 to 400, and the moss shops in the background. Oh, that's cool. You can see more than one thing at a time. Um, pink? Blue. Blue. Is that female pink and blue for boys would make sense, I guess. And a super spyglass tells us its health and its torpor. Well, that might be handy. And its stats. Oh, that's quite cool. I'm liking that. But I also like that. Okay, let's answer the question as to whether... Let's put that away. Pink is girls, blue is boys. Are you a girly? You are a girly! Okay, where's, where's the other one? And I'm guessing you, sir, are a boy. Very handy indeed. I'm liking those two. I'm liking them a lot. And the fact that you can fly along and still see where you're going. Okay, so what's going on with these guys? Level 96. It's showing us... Anything that's within its range, it's listing, which is a bit confusing when there's a lot of them, actually. But also very handy to spot which Allosaurus is the... Obviously, the red flames on its back tell us which one's the higher level. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And you don't have to be totally precise, either. This is going to come in very handy indeed, folks. Very handy indeed. So the omnicular versus the super spyglass, well, I think they're both very useful and I'm going to carry them both around for a little while, but not right this second, because now I want to test two other mods that I have on the server. Uh, you saw me make the gravestone a second ago. I want to check um, to see whether that works or not, so I've just put on some old rags. Um, I've got a pike on me and some meat. That's it. I've left everything else at home. Um, so I'm going to go and go and get myself killed and see whether or not this gravestone does, in fact, catch all my stuff. And at the same time, um, this here is the homing pigeon mod, and um, this is the only one on the map at the moment, um, and all the birds have these little um, thingies on them, uh, leg rings, and they are set, hopefully, let me just double check, no, not that button, that button, there we go. Homing pigeon menu. At the moment it's being sent to the flag. Uh, set default return flag. As I say, there's only the one anyway. So make sure it's set to that. And then put that back on the normal menu. Okay. So, theory is, if I die, Peter... I'm taking Peter because... You know, I love Peter. But he's expendable. So, where are we going to find a bad guy? We shouldn't have to look too far. So, theory is, if I die, Peter should fly back to um, the base. Okay, so, let's give it a go. Or he might actually kill me. No, 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 kill me. Come on, kill me, kill me. Not Peter. That's it. Come on. Do your thing. Okay, well... <laughs> that didn't go according to plan, did it? Ah, oh, okay, time for a little nap. 
Aha, and we're back up. Okay, so let's put Peter on passive. And go and find something else to try and kill us. Why is it when you want something to kill you, there's nothing in sight? Okay, there's a car no there. So let's leave Peter here. And go and get in a fight. Come on, Mr. Carney, you wanna eat me? Hmm? No, over here. Oh good god. Oh hi. Eat me. Yes. Yes, eat me. Come on. You can do better than that. Hey, is it? Oh. Okay, nearly dead. One more bite. No, two more bites. And it's all over. Okay. Now then. Uh, sleeping bag, no. Workshop, yes. Oh, that's a strange view. Okay, so no sign of Peter yet. But we did have to go quite a way in order to get killed. Okay, so what does it say? Recover corpses. E. It worked! I don't know why I doubted it. Absolutely awesome! That is brilliant. Okay, let's go and get my shizzle back. Well, it's been about five minutes since I died and reappeared here and no sign of Peter, so unless he's walking home, I don't think he's coming. So, now, does that mean that the mod isn't working? Does it mean that the mod doesn't work with the volcano map? Does it mean it's not working with one of the other mods I've got? I don't know. Do I have to be on Peter when I die for him to fly home? Do I have to be within a certain distance of Peter? Questions, questions, all needing answers, folks. First one is, where is Peter? Peter, where are you, Peter? Peter, is that you? No, that's not Peter. Peter, is that you? No. Peter! Where are you, Peter? Maybe I was further away than I thought. He was set to passive, so he should just be sitting wherever we left him. Wherever that was. Peter, is that you? Peter, where are you? Peter! Peter, we found you, Peter! Oh, let's go. So Peter was just sitting right where we left him. Had no intention of flying back to the homing pigeon sign. Hmm, more experimenting needing, I think. Oh, not so good. Oh, goodness gracious me, that land. Okay, so let's just have another look at this. Recall to flag. Well, let's try that one. Okay. Peter? Let's go. Let's take Peter down the beach. And let's leave him here. So let's try and call Peter back to the flag. Recall to flag. P 
repeater recall. Anything? He did have a a thingy on his foot, didn't he? Well, Peter isn't here where we left him. So where did he go? Well, I don't know where he went for, 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 for folks, but he certainly didn't come home. Hmm. Poor Peter. Oh my god! There he is! Peter! I'm <laughs> not quite sure that's the best place to land, Peter, but you're back! Can we... So that side of it works, folks. So it might be worth keeping it after all. What are you doing? Just... So the homing pigeon mod kind of works. Peter did eventually come home, although he didn't come home when I died. I was able to recall him using the recall to flag option. They certainly don't fly in a straight line because I left him just over there down the beach and it took him a good four minutes to come back just a, a few yards. But back he is. So I will keep the homing pigeon mod because if it was one of my RGs or a Quetz in the future or, you know, being able to recall a bird when you've been killed out in the wilderness uh, yeah, suits me, sir. I don't know about you. And the, uh, what was it called? The death recovery mod. Also a huge success. It gave me all my stuff back. So what next? Hmm. It's snowing. How pretty is that? Oh, yes. I was interrupted. Um, well, not interrupted. I had a visitor. Howling Mad came over. I wanted to show her the um, this thing. Personal grave from the... Yeah, that mod. I've forgotten already. Ha! Oh, it's me age, you know. Um, what I did notice is... Every time you die, uh, you need to repair your grave. So keep an eye on that, chaps. Yeah. So every time I've died a few times, as you can see the um, the structure, whatnot thingy. Do you know I can't speak? I stopped for dinner. I had a little bit of a. Uh, I'm just going to start again. Should I just start again? I will start again. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, look! It's snowing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, folks. Anyway, Howling Mad came over and um, she said, Oh, I like your boathouse. Um, yeah, I like my boathouse too. It, it, in fact, it's not actually a boathouse. It, it's just a, a house with a thingy on the side. And I figured it would look quite cool if I put it over the water and made it look like a boathouse. So yeah, but I didn't actually build this. This comes as a pre-built structure within the medieval structures mod and it's house number four so let's take a quick look inside i may have shown you already i don't know i'm old i forget as you can see i forget things yeah so anyway medieval sink very cool looking uh, it does need water um to make the tap run but if it's not connected to water you still get this effect underneath um but obviously you're going to connect it to water aren't you otherwise you know what use is it that uh, usual thing go in uh you can feel your what knots up yep very useful but as i say awesome looking the kitchen cabinet now howling mad showed me this on her server the other day and i thought well that looks cool uh i think it's just an average storage cupboard you can stick whatever you like in it um oh yeah i'll, I'll come to that in a minute um the pantry uh, i've shown you that before over in the workshop i've got one the wall vault uh, just for personal atoms and standard table chairs at S plus mortar and pestle so I can pick it up always handy I had to install these stairs these don't come actually pre-installed with the pre-built house you have to place them yeah. sofas I mean everyone's got to have a sofa right and this one looks so comfy I sit yes very comfy indeed and then we have the medieval round table is it the medieval round table hmm no actually 
These might be out of the Eco Decor mod. Yes, I think they are. Anyway, they're cool, yeah. And uh, again, I've got, I've shown you before, the armor storage. You can only put armor and saddles in that one, and the weapons storage. They look aw oh, awesome. They look awesome, right? Yeah, they do look awesome. And you can only keep your weapons in that. You can't keep any ammo in it, so I went ahead and built the ammo rack. And I have to say, the detail that, that, that's that been involved in this, that's so cool. You've got little round bullets down the bottom there. You've got your, your arrows. Uh, I don't know what those are. Yeah. Anyway, I think it looks awesome. And I think that is the Advanced Arc, Arc Advanced 10 mod, I believe. Uh, up here, this is definitely the Eco RP or PR Deco something mod. Uh, it's cool. And yeah, you can bounce on the bed. It's. I just. Yeah. Anyway, it's better looking than a simple bed. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, and here we have the side table, which it can be locked for your personal items. This, yeah, I think it was in the eco decor thingy. This, I have to say, is a huge disappointment. It looks cool, which is the only reason why I've left it there. I do think it looks, you know, pretty amazing and kind of fits in with the rest of the medieval stuff. But the light it gives off, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually giving off light now, is absolutely pathetic. I'm sorry, but it is. So, yeah, I mean, Auto torch, and that doesn't even look like it's on, but it is, folks. Oh, how embarrassing! So it is on, but you can't see anything by it. So that's what I think. Uh, this is quite cool butterfly picture, which I can pick up and move around. And there's a few other pictures in the mod, as I say, Eco's RP or PR decor set, and uh, this bookcase. Again, you can put your blueprints and things in there. I think it's blueprints. Can you stick it? Oh, no, it's not. You can stick whatever you like in it. Take that back. Even better. Marvellous. So that is house number four, with a bit of decoration in it that I've done. And let me shut that. Added some steps out the front. As I say, Howling Mad, uh, we've just placed it. Let's just gamma up a little bit so you can actually see what I'm talking about. There we go. Uh, Howling Mad needs to get some door action on the go and some stairs and whatnot to finish hers off. What else was there? Oh yeah, this guy. This guy, what are, who are you? What are you out of? I've forgotten. The me uh, yeah, the medieval structures whatnot thingy. The market crafting cart. That's hard to say. And in here you can make uh, that's a bit a bit bright. A die stall. Uh, Howling Mad came up. She, she made all these for me, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to get around to placing those at some point. But look, you can make cloth shoes to leave by your bedside. Just to make your bedroom messy like it is at home. Um, dodo crates, turkey crates. Uh, all decoration purposes only, I believe. But yeah, we're going to have a little marketplace at some point. But more to the point, how cool looking is the actual crafting table? Amazing, amazing. So anyway, uh, I spoke about... Oh, and these. What are these? You can only store wooden thatch in here. And you can only store... What is it? Stone, flint, crystals, obsidian and metal ore in here. Not sure if you were on a PvP server that these would be of any use because everyone would come and rob you. But uh, we only play PvE, me and my friends. Um, so... Suits me, it does, indeed. Yes. So, Platforms Plus mod. Go down a little bit. I went ahead and made the platform smithy. So let's go ahead and place that. Now, I was under the impression... Just whack it there for now. I was under the impression that with this Platforms Plus mod that you could actually build the platforms on pillars rather than trees. But as it turns out, folks... It quite clearly states there, attaches to a large tree, enabling you to build on it. Hmm. Maybe it's not the one I wanted. I don't know. But you can make glass ones, which might be quite interesting. But I don't have a large tree to attach it to, so I'm going to have to go and make one. But as it happens, I have this thing here, which I've shown you before, the Eco Trees Redwood Crafting Table, and I'm hoping that I can make a tree to attach my platform to, because what I want to do 
I'm not going to do it in this episode because I'm aware of how long I've been waffling absolute rubbish to you for. I'm going to decide where to stick a big tree and I'm going to build a, a kind of bird aviary to contain me flyers from up there. So, yeah. Lots of things planned, lots of things. My list is horrendous and I just got a text. How embarrassing is that? But for now, folks, yeah, it's got to be tea o'clock and I've bored you enough. We've looked at the omnicular versus the super spyglass and came to absolutely no conclusion as to which is better, so I'm going to keep the both. We learnt that the homing pigeon flag thingamajig it kind of works, so it's worth keeping. And then, of course, we've had the death recovery mod and a quick look at the Platforms Plus, but I will cover that in a different episode entirely. We also had a look at the medieval structures, and I'm just waffling for the sake of it, I think. So if you like the video or you just want to make an old lady happy and keep my kids quiet, then please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it means the world to me. And if you're new and you haven't already, then why not subscribe? And together we can go on this voyage of awful videos together. Misery likes company, folks. Until the next time, goodbye now.